Right, I know um, Lion and Wash are popular, so I'll have a go at the snow scene again using black acrylic paint mixed with water in my little old artist ink bottle. I'm sure it's the same stuff. Uh, I'll use uh, little brushes as, as always. The thing is that when you do this you must make sure that you keep your 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 brushes scrupulously clean otherwise if you get too much paint or any paint drying here on the brush it will spray and then you've lost it but it's inevitable face of most brushes isn't it so um the mole the mole valley box hill in the distance the, the river mole coming along here uh, we just put in some some bank i'm making this up it And I look out my daughter's and her partner's window in Dorking, you can look over Ranelagh Common, all part of the Surrey Hills, absolutely glorious. And we're just calming on here, we just put in some, some bushes and I've got a hair that is. So that'll do for that, um, and then we'll uh, and we'll have some foliage on the other side. And so what I'll do, I'll, I'll put some. I've reversed these. I'm going to put. I put these trees here coming up from this bank here and these coming up from here. And so it's just just sort of random bushes, reeds and stuff. Well, right, so these will be further away, but so we'll, we'll put these sort of now we we'll just making these trees up there, probably willows and oaks and. Put a couple here. Now remember the branches go up and in front of others and behind. And I'm going to do a little lilac-y, bluey background behind these trees to give an impression of three dimensions. All good fun. I I've I've can't put too many of these in, it's a bit ridiculous take ours. I've got to put another one in. Look, I've just, just got this lid here. some of these coming down over the river. But then I have to make this one a bit bigger now because that branch is pretty big.
I say this so many times that these look attractive to some because of the contrast between the, the black and the white. But if I was trying to put some colour on it, it sort of dies back a bit. the ivy on. And I will, uh, we'll put a top on these. I'll just rough this up a bit in the background. Okay, that'll do for that. That gives me plenty of scope to uh, put the background in and put some blue chunks. Just going off into the, the yonder. Right, okay. Now, I was mentioned in the last, or maybe I didn't, I scrapped one video. <coughs> um, Roland Hilder's uh, wonderful trees and his, his books on how to do, how to, how to paint. Are just, are just gorgeous. Probably the most influential painter I've ever come across. So for the, the work that I do, well, I'll just give you an example. I'll just show you, this is from a calendar that he did years ago. He's long dead. I don't suppose anybody would mind me showing this. These were very, very popular. Every year he did a calendar. Just keep that brush in the water. Look, lovely, done with probably black ink. Beautiful painter, absolutely superb work. But he painted on dry paper, I paint on wet. Although the drawing was done on dry, of course. Right, now we're going to come up this bank here. Try not to get too carried away, so we'll... Uh... Got to think how we're going to turn this into a, a snow scene. Well, we're going to have to go quite, quite big now with these to make them different from the ones I'll go further up than the, my drawing. Oops, oh, we'll have to do something about that. Well that'll be a big branch with uh, some ivy on now. It's a bit careless there. My paint is quite thin. I'm more or less painting with a with with a black paint, aren't I? Just Branches coming off all over the, the place here, so this is ivy.
try to make your trees different. You, what you don't want to do is is a copy of the one next to it, and you have a regiment all looking the same. So. I know it's difficult to do, you get carried away with something, you think, well that looks good and you do a bit more, but what you're really doing is subconsciously copying what, what you've already done. Go right up in the air with these ones. Let's put some ivy, ivy in. Love ivy. I'm going to put three because I'll put two on this side, in sort of solid, so I'm going to do the same. Right, we've got another one up here coming. Look, I'm just painting into those balloons. Right, that not quite good enough. Let's get get that in. Not a good shape there, so we'll right, that's a bit better. I'll do a lot of this with the brush, uh, with the paint. Right, let's just get that in. In there, all nicely. Ivy it up. The, the drawing is going to take all the time here. 
Button. Never mind. Okay. <coughs> Let's just thicken that up there. Right, I think that's uh, quite good. Let's uh, put some paths in here. Bushes. Not sure how we're going to paint the river. Probably put dark reflection on, on the bank here. Paint's grey, bit of blue. Just a bit of, a bit of this, a bit of that. Okay, that will do for that. I think for that side. Then I'll uh, make sure this brush is clean and that the painting is thoroughly dry. Hold on to your headphones. I'll we'll put your headphones on. <laughs> it's going to be bone dry. Right, a swig of tea. Slurp. Right. Now. Wet the fabric. I've been painting on the 200 pound weight, which is good. It's good paper, it's good, very good quality. But I do like the fabric, I know. I've got so used to it. Stephen Cronin put me onto it three years ago when I started doing these videos. To refresh your memory, if you're interested, the reason I started doing these was to help a friend with her watercolours. And I hadn't done watercolours for 15 years, I was doing oil painting mostly. Venice and all sorts of things, landscapes. And I thought I'd better brush up on my old watercolour knowledge experience, which I did, and I painted. Um, well, she couldn't get to me one for, for a demonstration. I was just giving her some help. It's got snowed in, or iced in. <coughs> and uh, so I thought, oh, I've got a webcam, a little five pound webcam, and I, my friend showed me how to put it, um, open up Windows Movie Maker, and I made a video. And I thought to email it to her, but I didn't know how, so it was too much information. So my daughter said, let's put it on YouTube, Dad. I said, I never can send the link. I thought, well, that's a good idea. How'd you do that? I didn't know. I only had a computer for five, well, then, a couple of years. It was all new to me. Anyway, I, I put it on YouTube and sent her the link, and I, I, got, I enjoyed doing the video so much that uh, I started to, started the channel. And I've been doing it ever since. Sort of got carried away. Or well, some people think I should be carried away. That's a bit of a lizard in, in, in that sky as well. And if I just put a bit of a tint over the foreground. Because sky, uh, uh, water, snow is uh, colourful, it reflects what's around it. So I would have a bit of a Sort of a simple sky. We, we, we're not. We don't want it to compete with uh, 
with the um, landscape. Makes a bit, so let's just strengthen that up a little bit. Bit of movement in that sky there. That'll do. Right, let's uh, clean my brush. You'll see my mate Alan Owen has done another another hake painting. Very nice it is too. If you don't know him, go and have a look at his channel. Alan Owen. We phone, phone each other up a couple of times a week and have long chats. Alright, I'll just reclip the paper. And nice and flat. You don't need to stretch your paper. Even though this is quite lightweight for watercolour paper. It's, but it's really nice. I, I, I'm more than happy with it. I'm just going to dry that off now. So headphones off. I don't want it bone dry, but I want to put a background of the Surrey Hills, Box Hill. Sort of a, an invented view from uh, the valley, the Mole Valley, looking up towards the Surrey Hills. So, a bit, bit blue. I don't want it too strong. So, we'll. Uh, There. Put a bit, of, a bit of yellow in there. I'll leave a bit unpainted for snow on the on the on box hill. Now I, 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 I must add again, or remind you that I'm just making this up. This view doesn't exist. It's just an impression of box hill. Or. Surrey Hills and the Mole Valley, the lovely Mole Valley. <coughs> right, we'll let that uh, go. Well, I, I, I could put in a bit of bit of shadow. We'll have the the uh, right. That's a that's a river there, so we want to leave that alone. But this is just a bit of a uh, bit of the reflection, no, the shadow cast by these trees. And it's a bit, a bit darker than that, so just a paint grey, bit of blue, bit of filizarin. Just. Bit of shadow across the valley, I mean the river. Right, I'm going to let that go. Now I'm going to dry that again because I want the background dry so I can put in my darker blue. Not bone dry again. Right, so alizarin, ultramarine, fairly strong, it's a touch of grey. I'll put in a bit of sienna, a bit of warm in there. A bit of colour on the ivy. I'm using fairly thick paints in here.
Right, now we'll do the same on, on the nearer trunks, but, we're, but quite a bit of light red in there as well, I think. Okay, that'll do now for some sienna. And a bit of green, I think, might burn under Payne's Grey and, and Lemon Yellow. I might have gone a bit wet there, perhaps. Uh. Right, now I want to do some burnt umber on these tops. Bit of blue in there. Need a cloth to mop your brush. All right, let's just Now, uh, some paints growing in there, I think, with these ones, just to give a bit of distance to them. Although they're only just to the other side of the, uh, the Mole River. That might be a better colour than what I put on there, but I might strengthen that up in a minute. All right, clean the brush. And we will put in some blue, paints grey, and So that's reflecting the, the other bank there. Don't know if this quite works, but put in a bit of bit of bit of reflection. And a bit darker with the old paints grey and blue, almost the blue black. Right, let that go there. Uh, now I'll go into this bit here now with I'll use the I'll use a rigger to finish my tea. And while I'm doing this, that'll be drying and I can get a bit of some detail. So nice sienna. Warm colours, a bit of amber. I think that rig was a bit too short, too long, so I'm saying this uh, is uh, that one. Bit of 
Right. I'll put some shadow behind behind these. Uh, just want to put some heavier detail in here just to strengthen up those shadows because the black is just a little bit too stark there. So a bit of reflection, or oh, shadow, I see. I've got that bit of a block there. Okay, now we'll do some blue in the background here. Red just to darken the blue. <coughs> the blue here, if they if it shows at all, it, it's giving me trying to give the impression that there are branches behind the front bit, so to try to turn it into a bit of a 3D. Right, now we're doing some, uh, some darker. This might be a little bit fussy, but... Okay, I'm going to let that go. Let's put a signature on it. Right, we'll uh, put in the mounts. Let's get a bit of tape. Oh, 
I'm not sure my river has come out much as a river. Um, I just want to, I'll get some grey further up along the, the, the above steps of the river a little bit. Well, that's not too bad. <coughs> right, let's uh, bring me round and have a have a look. So there are Mole Valley, Line and Wash. Let's go into it. Now I've kept the background to the minimum. Look, just those do these hills coming across, and going to nothing. Now that's the bank of trees. With the sh the cast shadow, and going across over there, the shadow coming across the, the bank a little bit. I put blue behind the trees to give some perspective to them, rather than they're just flat objects. Well, I've tried to create the illusion, and the foreground very very simple. Look, just a bit of grassy, brushy bracken sticking through through the snow, snow in the, in the Mole Valley. So let's come out of that and let you look at it for a few seconds. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.